Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to walk you through the Volume 3 update for our Chamber Strings library, which is called Sable, today. Um, and so when you've downloaded the update, and please give it 72 hours-ish, give us right into the weekend before you, um, before you uh, let us know that you haven't received a, an update email or notification, or that the update hasn't appeared in your in your download manager because the um, it will take a while to roll out to everybody. We're doing this um, nice and slowly, nice measured process so that everybody has a good download experience and we don't melt the server down. So the first place you're going to look for these updates um, is inside the instruments main mics. This is the first part of the update that's coming out and the alt and stereos are following. Um, but immediately you'll get the main mics and if we look inside, um, you'll notice that I've renamed my old folder to 1.21. So I'm just looking at the um, volume three update at this stage. Um, now we're gonna need to look in the combination brushes to look at these legato updates. And you'll be looking at the combinations because obviously you need the main, the long notes from volume one to work for the cellos. So I've got loaded up here um, the legato performance palette. Um, here, which has got elements of volumes one and three samples in. So the, the uh, transitions are obviously, um, extra transitions are from volume three, and then the long notes are from volume one. So what I'm going to show you first is the bridging note functionality. You'll see that this, um, if you go into the spanner, so that everything opens up with the new Easy Mix page. But let's go into the spanner. Actually, I'll show you this very, very quickly. This is a, a nice, quick and easy way to go uh, from kind of close to far. It manipulates the mic mixes that are happening behind. Now, by default, to save your memory, this will be purging and reloading any mics that it needs to along the way. But if you don't want that to happen, deselect purge unused, and then everything will load. Um, so you won't need to worry about, about uh, individual mics loading up and turning off. That can sometimes cause glitching if you're moving that fader in real time. So let's have a look at the actual transition. So I'm going to just quickly play something and you can hear the bridging notes. I'm going to put all of the mics on. Let's have a listen. So you can hear there's a big difference there between just uh, replaying a note and actually the rebowed version. If I let go and repeat the note within 125 milliseconds as we've got it set up at the moment, you can change that in the advanced settings. So you can hear that it's just a straight rebo. You don't get the kind of hard attack. You get a nice definition, a nice lift and replaying of the note, um, but not the kind of beginning of the phrase style attack. So this replaying, uh, rebowing, or bridging notes as we call them, incredibly useful um, in phrases. I'm going to show you the the violins, um, violin one version as well, just so you can compare two different versions. So we'll load up again the combi patch so that we get this volume three elements in the combination and uh, again we'll look at um, the spanner view so that we see this and I'm going to play So you can hear there I'm varying the dynamic as well as I'm going along and it's just it's just following uh, very nicely. It's an incredibly useful little feature there. So while we're on the violin ones, let's load up the legato decorative palette and I can show you some of the new legatos that we have. So you'll see that already there are quite a few um, changes in here. You'll listen to the outriggers and the ambience for this one. So. First up, we have the Legato Consort. 
Now, there are two different uh, types of consort legato. There's normal um, fingered legato and then a portamento. So I'll play the normal legato first. So you can see there that we've got um, dynamic control as well. Let's load up the portamento. That sounds like this. So if you want this to operate in the normal manner in the same way that the, um, that the main patch does, so you want them to switch based on velocity, then it's really simple to just command click uh, and enable it's preset ready with the same numbers as we have in the main patch and then you can very simply play um, and then get a get the portamento just on the very lowest velocity so really beautiful sound there um, so let's turn those off temporarily and go back to uh, our other one. So we've got the flautando again, flautando and flautando port. I'm going to enable these. I mean, you can group them um, down here so that you know they they are separately grouped, um, and then you can have them all active. And just when you then use your articulation switcher or your key switches to go into into the um, flautando, it will switch between these two and then you can switch back to consort and it will switch between these two. So flatando sounds like this. So you'll notice there's a slightly restricted range on um, the normal legato for the flatando and on the portamento, which is just the highest section of the flatando. Um, so let's turn those off momentarily in the switcher. And then we have legato sol pont. So that's a really lovely, useful sound as well. So those are, that's the violin one. Let's go back to the cello and go into our combination patches again. And let's look for our Legato decorative, one, three, and four. I'm not going to go into massive detail. I keep the video reasonably short <laughs> as this is a free update video. Um, let's put in the close mics as well, just down a little bit. So we've got our consort. Um, let's enable these uh, by velocity range as well. Activate. And then for the consort port, I'll put that between 1 and 19. OK. Right. Um, and let's have a listen to that. So there we go, you get the idea from that one. We've got the flautando as well. And if we have a listen to the sol pont. So that's an interesting sound as well. It's got you've got the um, a, a nice kind of added bit of reality to your transition points there. So um, obviously all of these legatos monophonic, 
and lets you select your polyphonic legato here and you can check out an earlier walkthrough to find out more about that. So let's have a look at playing in combination. So we'll go back. So if we load up our combination legato decorative palette for violin ones, and then we add in our combination legato decorative palette for violin twos. So we're using the one, three and four and two, three and four. So this is all of our possible combinations. And then we'll go in and we'll get our consort up here We'll enable the articulation switching on that one. And we'll set, oops, we'll set the same um, articulation switching on this one. And that's enabled. And then the consort portamento will go from one to 19. And that's enabled as well. And then, um, Let's put them on the same MIDI channel and have a listen to how they sound together. So let's just check we've got the same mix up for both, which we haven't yet. So I'm going to have C, A and O, close, ambient and outriggers for both. And it takes a little while to load because we've got all of the legatos up here. Um, OK, so this is what that sounds like together. Lovely sound there. So that's having a quick listen to violin one and two together. Why don't we go totally mad and add in the violas as well. So combination brushes again, legato performance palette, two, three and four. And then we'll set that to the same MIDI channel. We will go in and get the same combination of mics. In fact, for the purposes of this, why don't we let's lose the close mics from all of these and just listen to the outriggers and the ambient mics. That'd be quite nice. Legato decorative palette, I meant, obviously. Um, so we get we get the A and O mics up. We'll get our consort, um, portamento and normal in there. So we'll set those again to 20. And then very easy to set these up to do exactly Set them exactly the way that you want, the way that works best for you. Um, so that is set up now. And let's have a listen to all three together. So lovely sound there, we've got everything going. Um, and then we can also um, have a listen just out of interest to our flautandos. I'm gonna disable the articulation switching because I haven't set those into groups. So I don't wanna accidentally trigger those. But as I mentioned earlier, you can set them in groups, nice and easy. Um, so here we go, so all on flautando. Beautiful sound. So that's the update for volume three. There are a couple of other features. So we've got the, the um, update is using the latest BML code base, which has some additions and some kind of improvements. Um, our UI, we've, we've tried to reorganize it very slightly to make it less cluttered with the new simple mode. Um, we've got our new kind of easy mix mixer here, simple mixer to quickly switch from kind of close to a far sound. Um, 
there is now we've added the ability to switch articulations via program changes um, the full sable combo patches have been tweaked so the the violin ones volume one and three the vi violin two two three and four violas volumes two three and four and the celli volumes one and three um, we've got our same note legato available the that um, bridging notes that we call them um, on the full sable combo patch per instrument so you're looking for the legato performance palette and then we've added in the these new articulations so um, for violin ones you've got legato consort portamento the legato flotando and portamento the solpont then a violin two similarly um, consort consort port flotando solpont uh, violas, consort, consort, port, flotando, sol, pont, celli, consort, consort, port, flotando, sol, pont, and a ton of bug fixes in there as well. So that's the volume three update. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.